was about to leave y'all at the house. I like left, drove down the hill and everything. Better lighting. And I was like, wait, I gotta vlog. So welcome back to the vlog, you guys. I'm about to vlog, it's Monday. I'm back on my, wait, where's the keys? All right, it's time to get my job back, I'm fearing girl. Oh gosh, it's so windy, hold on. Guys, we went, oh damn, my forehead looks huge. <laughs> my hair does do, don't worry about it. It's really windy, but we went to get our boss started, but they're super busy. So let's find someone else. We, we can find somebody else on Yelp who does the same type of threatening. Okay, I'm just like where your people touch my eyebrows. They weren't even all that great last time. Like they, 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 they did the job, but it's like, if you tell them to just not even shape it and just simply just clean up your brows, they won't change the shape of it, okay. you know? We could just find someone down there. All right guys, we're in Hollywood. About to get my lashes done. We found a place that is threading and we're gonna get waxed too. Can you see me? My lashes look so good. What? Ooh. Like they, okay, they look a little darker right now, but I promise they look so good in person. Shelly recommended this place for her, I think it's Japanese barbecue. It's just really good. So we're about to eat here first before we go get our brows done and get waxed. Let's see what they have. Well, they have s'mores. I don't need to see that. You love you a Shirley Temple. Mmm, and it smells good too. Thank you. Thank you. I want to try this first before we start cooking. Mm. It smells so good. Oh my God. I'm just really hungry too. Mm. Mm. We're coming back here. Shelly was right. Mm. It's good? It's good. That's what they took their time. Away. I'm eating so much. Oh my, my makeup got messed up during my mm -hmm. lash appointment. Okay. Yeah, I just got the threading done maybe three weeks ago now, so it shouldn't be too much. Yeah, I wait two weeks. I love the sound it makes. <laughs> okay. Gotta hold it, yeah. <laughs> All done. I'm gonna get waxed, you guys. I haven't been waxed in. I haven't been waxed in over a year now. I usually just shave. Oh, really? Yeah. Usually you shave? Yes. I think that this is a. Uh, maybe you don't want to wax. Go in so late. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Waxing's fun. Mm -hmm. I've waxed like friends before for fun. Oh, at least it's warm. Do you do all one strip? Mm-hmm. What? No, no, no. Just oh. step by step. Oh, gosh. You're about to do it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I'm freaking myself out. Okay, just do it. Just go. Just go. What happens? Mm. Ah! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> okay! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Wait! How many more strips? Here's Oh gosh! 
everything part else? Is, yeah. Okay. Part is okay. 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 Not too much. Oh gosh. Oh. My sex is here, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Why am I even doing this? I'm celibate. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, that was the hard part, right? The hard part is here, yes. The other kind of part is not too much. Okay. okay. <sighs> oh, man. Okay, that was bearable. <laughs> okay. No, it's not fair that men don't have to go through this. You know, it's actually smart to put the wax in the cup like that, mm -hmm. like, to keep it sanitary, that's smart. This one? That's smart, yeah. 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 <laughs> She's doing inner lips, y'all. Is that gonna hurt? Why'd you pause? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, front is done, just back. Okay. okay go now, the whole side. Yes. Oh my god, you're waxing my butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. oh my god, this is so intimate. You didn't even ask my name. It's it's Arnell. Oh my gosh, this is so intimate. I can't. Meanwhile, I gave birth a few months ago, so like the whole hospital room seen everything. Ugh, this is so I wish you could see the position I'm in right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh god, this is so into me. <gasps> okay, that wasn't that bad. See ya. Thank you. She couldn't see the position of it. <laughs> oh, my teeth look good. Shout out Dr. Gim. People be thinking my teeth are real. Okay, other side. Oh god. Yes. Like, okay. I'm spreading my butt, guys. Oh my gosh. Why do people even do all this? This is this pain. I know, but why do people wax their buttholes? You know, I feel like. We, oh my, it was about to give out on me. Oh my god. Ah, we're done. You guys don't want to know what Anna were just discussing. We're at the Beast Placer right now. You know, we're waxed. We got our brow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh god, we're all in the way! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're freshly waxed, brows done. I cannot wait to take my brows, you guys, because I feel like it's like it, it's imbalanced because my lashes are darker, but ignore that. But, I don't know. Let's get some stuff. Some stuff we don't really need. I think I got more than enough. Cause this is heavy. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Finally home after a long day, you guys. And I put on my little skims, little cozy, little, it's a jumpsuit. Anyways, Nana should be here in five minutes. His dad said he was 10 minutes away, five minutes ago. So we're about to go see, we're about to see my Nana and I broke my nail though. And so, we're, uh, Monet and I have dinner plans tomorrow and a comedy club so i need my nails done she needs to look fresh okay i think i'm gonna do i think i might do a quick weave tomorrow yeah maybe possibly probably so my lashes are done my brows are done i actually just tinted them and i just have to do my nails and my hair i really love these lashes like here's the thing i really don't like dramatic lashes i think sometimes um they do the opposite of enhancing your look however oh 
Not he's here early, champ. You can let him in. No problem. Nina. It's my Nina. You about to get a bath? You about to get clean? You about to get clean? You about to get clean? Why does Noah have a tooth? Say I have a tooth. He has two technically, but one of them is showing more than the other. Say I got a two teeth. Oh my god. Why are you kicking me? Stop. Ah. I'm in trying to edit a video tonight. I don't know about filming though. What do you mean? Are you going to edit? Because I, I was going to attempt to film, but. Oh. I got to film this sponsorship. I kind of have no choice. Because technically, it's supposed to go live on Monday. Next Monday. Okay. My manager was like recently to film it to me until it can have any edits. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say it's it's a shower thing, so not easy. Yeah, you, you got a shower, though, right? Yeah, it's a shower. Well, it's, it's shower plus bath. Okay. Unless I don't know. Maybe I'll film one portion tonight and another portion tomorrow. Did you get your baby? Look at those long I can legs. Who the fuck here? You see it too? What do I do with food? Oh my gosh. It's like this growing right here. Oh my goodness. See, I you want to show them your tooth, Papa? Look at those whips. Want to show them your tooth? He's like, no. <laughs> I actually blocked the doctor's appointment. Last week? That was last week? Alright, guys, we're at the doctor. We gotta get him undressed, but he's knocked out. Okay. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> Did you help us last time? Um, yeah, you were funny. Remember, it was me, her, and my other friend. Is it four months, what I Yeah. Yes. Mm, how many? Um, two. That was a big hug, dude. Look at him, you measuring his head. That was a big hug I just got, bro. Okay, you, okay. He's already TV. You, you, you. Can I get my arm out there? <laughs> oh, oh, he's heavy. I need him. Oh, you're heavy. How is this no way? He looks on the thing. Are they going to Yeah. Oh my god. Look, he's so big. Oh, his feet's covering him. Oh, is that perfect or what? <laughs> he's huge. So you're a poser, huh? <laughs> you like to pose? Oh, you hungry? He just ate. I don't know, what are you doing that? The little thing out here. 67, okay, you can take him. And you can just put his diaper back on, okay? Okay. Come on, Nana. Who said 20? I did. He's Feel 20 right pounds? Right 19, <gasps> You're only yeah. 19 point six pounds. So we are doing great. Weight today is 19 pounds, six ounces, 97 percentile. So growing very, very nicely. Um, height wise, we are also super tall, 26 and a half inches, 91st percentile. And head circumference is big, we're just big all around, uh, 97 percentile. Hey. So doing, your body. doing great. Yeah, that's my tell It's like, you know, if you're a tall baby, then yeah. your head's gonna be larger too. So it's proportionate. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready to get their shots? No. <laughs> Who's ready to get their shots? <laughs> Who's ready? <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready to get their shots? <laughs> Who's ready? Me. Say I'm ready. Say ah. Say Noah. Hey. Noah. Hey. Noah. Hey. Noah. <laughs> Noah. You got the band-aids ready? Always. Oh, we'll be fast. We'll be fast. We'll be fast. Maybe if we don't react, he won't even notice. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're cute though. I like that. And maybe we just don't say anything. Oh, I can't see that needle. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Here we go. Right. You got this. Two, three. Sorry about that. Yeah. Good job. You did good. Here we go. Here we go. You got this. One more. One more. One more. This one hurts, okay? Well, that one hurts more. Yeah. One, two, three. Sorry, baby. Sorry, daddy. It's okay. That's it. Oh. <laughs> I cried. Are right, you guys? Look at you. You're all set. You guys can just take off whenever you're ready. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you made it, Noah. You did good. You did good, Nana. You want to say hi to Noah? Don't say hi, Noah. Uh, not no, uh, <laughs> Chickies. <laughs> he a big boy. You wanna say hi to Noah? Say hi, Papa. You wanna say hi? Say hi, Nina. Hi, Noah. <laughs> the way she says his name is so cute. <laughs> say hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Oh, oh, yeah. you oh you guys are so cute. Uh, well, yeah, oh, he wants to get out. It's time. I was like, dang. See, I'm a bear. Oh, we both disappeared. <laughs> Not too much on us. See, I'm a bear. See, I have whips. Oh, look at you. Look at those whips. Look at them! Look at them! Look at that baby! Look at that baby! Look at those whips! You look so cute, Noah! <laughs> He's so cute! He's so cute! Bah, 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 bah. But it's so big at the same time. I can't believe he's four months. We look cute. We look cute. We're out to dinner. We're out to dinner. Our first time out. One on one. No Since baby. July. No baby. Hey, not too much on him. No <laughs> I love my Noah. <laughs> not too much on him. We're retrieving Alyssa. Where is she? Wait. She didn't really give us the best directions. She said the third floor. Oh. It is her. Oh, I'm hungry, girl. Me too. We retrieved Alyssa. Oh, retrieved the dog. Sorry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Thanks, babes. I did it myself. We need to get it in the mirror. All us. Oh wait, is the restaurant up? Yep. Thank you. Oh, duh. Like a very posh. What? Ooh. Oh. I'm so glad we're here. Hey, I match you guys' vibes. Right. At first, I thought I was going to be underdressed. No, we're chilling. Even though I spent two hours on my toes, just weird. <laughs> so we're ready with the appetizers, and now the crab fried rice here. Oh, yes. We're either going to be late to this comedy show or just flat out miss it. We'll see. <laughs> Stop her coming. Wait a minute. I want to see who's there. Laugh Factory. <laughs> I could have sold the ticket for tonight, you guys. Why? A spiky lemon cake here oh, to go. Thank you. Yes. Thank no. you so much. <laughs> we're, the we're supposed to go to the comedy show. I thought I bought tickets for your night. Little babes, this is Tuesday, November 7th. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. Got my ice cream. This is kind of mid though. I'm used to eating Hagen Dazs. This is mid. This is Baskin Robbins. The last time I'm buying this, it'll just is doing the job tonight. Do I have Pilates in the morning? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. That's so mid. It's told me I was very, very strawberry girl. There's nothing very, very about that. Anyways, guys, I'm about to read some. Okay. It's so cute, right? I mean, Look, it's about what's inside, all right? But, you know, it's nothing wrong with, you know, having a little aesthetic when you're getting into the, your relationship with the Lord. 
No, I don't know if that's bad to say. <laughs> but no, I really thought I thought that I thought it was really pretty. You know, it's pink, and I bought these cute tabs that I placed terribly. I still can't believe I did that. What was I reading last? Oh yeah, I was reading the Book of Job, girl. It was helping me understand some things. But um, I notice anytime I stray away from reading and I start slacking with my praying, you guys, the enemy's a piece of work. That man, to me, it's like he just has too much time and energy. Because the way it, I notice, anytime I like slack on my prayers and I'm not in the word, my anxiety starts creeping back in. I start having bad thoughts. It's like, whew. Yeah, I've definitely been slacking as of like the last week. But this the during the time in which I haven't been vlogging, I've definitely been rebuilding my relationship because I had slacked off bad. I fell off so bad, you guys. It's not even funny. Like, well, it's like literally not funny, but you know what I mean? I, I fell off pretty bad. Although I know it's important for us as humans to go through challenging times in order to evolve and to become stronger, I know one thing. I don't make good decisions if God's not involved. And I never want to make a decision where I can be involved again. <laughs> it's literally not funny, but when I think about some of the choices I've made, if I would have just if I, if I would just talk to God first, like, um, did you send this one? He would be like, I don't know. And you know I didn't. Like, you know what I mean? I just, I cannot make my own decisions anymore, you guys. I have made very questionable decisions. Now, did, did some of my questionable decisions lead me to blessings that I didn't know I even needed? Yes, 100%. In fact, I think the beautiful thing about everything I've experienced the last however long last few months is the fact that even though I strayed away and I was out here just being reckless and wild and just making decisions I shouldn't have been making the fact that no matter like throughout all that God never abandoned me and has like was still pulling me towards him I think that's a beautiful thing and one thing I've been doing that I feel like has been super effective in my life is thanking God every morning I wake up because I wasn't doing that and I know they say to, to do that you know you know thank God you woke up but that simple act in itself it's it's to me it's a form of practicing mindfulness right and being in the present moment which is something that I have struggled with for a very long time I'm either in the future or the past but I'm never here but when you wake up in the morning and you thank God for even waking up, like really put that into perspective. Really think about what a blessing that actually is to even wake up and get to experience this life, you know? And I've noticed that since doing that, I've um, it's helped me even cope with bad days, right? Because just just acknowledging the blessing that it is to even be here when you go through bad days or you're going through tough times, I, I can't explain it, but in a weird way, you appreciate it. You're grateful for it. It's so weird. I, I Honestly speaking, you guys, I'm pretty new at this or new at this way of thinking, so it's hard for me to really put into words to make it make sense the way I'm thinking about it in my head. I don't, I, it's, it's weird. I, I was praying about it last week and I was just thanking God for just like everything. Even the bad experiences, even the unfavorable ones, you know. Granted, I feel like, of course, like there's ways to avoid. You don't, you don't have to go through bad stuff, all right. You go through, you know. But I, I just appreciate everything I've experienced, you know. And I'm still healing through a lot of stuff, of course, you know. I think, I think we'll, we'll always be healing in a way. But when you just even acknowledge the fact that. It's a blessing to even wake up every day. You just get through the days differently. I don't think that there's a way to completely avoid pain when you're living life. There's just no such thing. Like We love people, right? There's people we're gonna lose. That's gonna be painful. But I do think there's a way to live life without... Um, I, I don't think you necessarily have to suffer when you change your perspective all right guys let me read 
I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm so happy to be vlogging again and actually vlogging. You guys wanna know something? I noticed that um, each week, cause I've tried to vlog every single week since I've disappeared, believe it or not. Um, what threw me off each time was I found myself talking about what I had been going through and then I felt so negative, right? And I knew, ooh, it's like, I was trying to justify it in my mind. Like, no, you know, you, you have the right to talk about whatever you want to talk about, which is still true. But I knew I was coming from an ugly place when it came to sharing what I was sharing. I knew I was coming from a place of, um, I don't know, like when you get done wrong by people, people as in plural, cause I was, look, I found myself talking about a lot of people, especially if you feel like they're getting away with just how poorly they treated you you want to like for lack of a better word you want to expose them i feel like expose sounds really messy though so that's not necessarily my angle but you want to like just like put it out there like dude right and i felt like i was coming from that place when i would talk about what i was experiencing not even just what i was experiencing even like my previous situation i found myself kind of talking a little bit about that too because I never really truly addressed what occurred with that either. And I know that during my last vlog that I posted a couple months ago, uh, what pissed me off was when I got when it got to Twitter. But I noticed that people were comparing and I'm just like, this is what happens when you don't address anything. People just make assumptions, right? At least for me, I'm like, the reason why I even got in my last relationship was because of how bad my one before that was. The one before that was so bad, anything would have looked better, you know? And so the last few weeks or last couple months I've been trying to vlog, I found myself just talking about what was going on, but it was coming from a place of, I want the world to see or just know. And I don't think that's a good place to come from. You know, whenever I do share what I've experienced, I'd rather it come from a place of, I want to share this with you guys so you could actually learn from it so that you don't make similar if not the same mistakes i don't want it to come from a place of um being uh, like like i don't know i was feeling resentful i was feeling vindictive and i didn't like coming from that place because that's not me that's very out of character for me so that's why it's like i'll vlog and then i'll find myself talking about it then i'll scratch all the footage and it'll just throw me off so yeah but happy to be vlogging again. I always feel like myself when I'm vlogging. It's really, I don't know, it's kind of therapeutic. I don't know. It's like a, kind of like a public diary or something. Speaking of, I didn't text my therapist. This girl, she didn't text me back. I could be on edge for all you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm being dramatic. We will, she'll never know, <laughs> Katrina. Anyways, let me go you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys, I did not vlog last night, but it was a good time. P.S. I wasn't on a date, I was with Alyssa. I met one of my guy friends prior, but babies, we was in that game, me and Alyssa. We like basketball, girls can like basketball without men being involved. We understand sports. I don't understand. Oh, I like shuffleball actually. Anyways, we had a long day, okay? But we're about to go to dinner. Monday's never been a catch at night. I told her, I go to catch enough to know that on Thursdays, they play our kind of music. <laughs> so we're geek. Knows with his nanny. He loves her. He loves Susie. He you could tell, like, he like lights up when she comes down. But um, yeah, we're about to have a good time. We look good, we feel good, we smell good. I wish you guys smelled this car. <laughs> yeah, my shoes. But you know what? Ah, so much food. No, I'm gonna try this on camera.
getting these blinds and we got the right size I, I so. hope I really, I really hope I don't know what I'm gonna do if it's the wrong size so it has to be the right size though because yeah it was dang there close enough yeah oh. say hi Nana say hi look at his little hand guys he has a stroller but we we're only getting this one thing so these I did carry the baby Oh, we do self checkout too. Say hi. Are you waving? <laughs> Say hi, little whips. See, I got whips and two teepees. Okay. Okay. Well, if you don't want the camera on you. Right. Like little clutches. That little brown one right there. This one? Yeah. Oh, I knew it. Oh, it's a backpack. Oh. I mean, it's so cute. Yeah. I like the little things at the bottom. The little, the yeah. Who's robbing these bags? <laughs> Damn. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. I guess oh. I have to wait for this. So. Oh, yes. Ooh. Honestly, without the strap, you don't even need that. You could just take these off and maybe turn it into like a clutch. Ooh. That'd be fire. You could, I, I, I would cut this off and turn it into a clutch. I gotta get this, because this, this will go with so many, so many outfits. I gotta get it, yeah. That makes sense. You ready to get out of here? <laughs> Sam, ready to get out of here? Sam, ready to go home? Sam, ready? Sam, ready? Sam, ready to go home? Sam, ready to go home? You guys, I promise next week will be better. I feel like I've sucked at vlogging this week. This is my first time vlogging an entire week in like three months. So please cut me some slack. I feel like I just keep like, I don't know. I'm not doing a good job. But that's um, oh wait, oh my God. Yeah, I have your debit card. You have my debit card, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I knew she was calling for that. It's Saturday. We're going to Melrose. Monday's getting a retwist. And then Noah and I are gonna hang out at the Grove while she gets a retwist. So, you guys, I did not vlog when I was out. You know how hard it is vlogging when you have a newborn baby at the Grove for the first time ever? It was very hard. I'm here to knock it out at Nordstrom. But speaking of Nordstrom, we'll do a haul. This is why I got him. Oh. Ah. This should be the 50s. You wanna try it on, Nana? They didn't have the, a bigger size, this is the only size. <laughs> you smiley, you big your Uggs. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Where's my phone? I can't. Where's my phone? Where'd I put it? Um, you got a little big baby foot. Look at you, your Uggs are so cool. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, 
okay, you're gonna see the other shoes I got him. Oh my gosh! I don't even know what to do. They're so cute. He's like, I'm smiling. I don't know what's so cool. I got myself some skin. I got a hoodie, a little tank, some sweats. Some undies because I like the color. PJs. Oh, I thought they were for him. I'm like, look, I love oh, look at the brand learning. I love when people like they do that kind of stuff. Ooh, that burnt. Excuse me. It was the only one left, so I figured it must be popular. Then I got this one because you know, Christmassy. <laughs> and then I got this one because I don't have any red PJs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, the rest is for Nana. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I used to have these. I don't think I have them anymore. I gotta double check. If I don't, I'm gonna get some so I can match my Nana. Oh, oh, oh try them on, Noah. Look at his little foot. I hope they fit. Wait, I gotta, wait. I have to show them the Uggs on him. You guys wanna see Noah with his Uggs? I gotta show you guys. Look at his Uggs. <laughs> Show the eyes. Next you. Oh my. Look at them. <laughs> oh my God, I got to get big. I got the shoesies. His feet are super big. All right, next pair. Next pair. Oh my gosh. I still, I hope I still have mine. I don't, uh, what? I feel like I got rid of them because I never really wore them. Because I have, you know, adult pair like this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, next pair. Which one do I want to go do next? Oh my gosh. Nikes! Oh no, he's a, he, he, yeah. his feet are wide, that's what it is. Uh, they are not that tight, man. Uh, look at the way your Nike, because he has a lot of room for his toes. See, my feet are just wide, that's all. That's it, you know? You might have to go get a bigger size. You know what? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. I have the receipt. Okay, I'll get fours. I thought I was. I was, I was scared. Like three he could like, he he put those Uggs though. Those are comfortable on him. One time wear. Adidas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope he gets these. Nana, you gotta fit these, please. Look at that boy. Look at those. The Stan Smiths. Look at those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that just made my day. So I'll, I'll go exchange these two t for a bigger size. But he can fit the Adidas and the Uggies. Yes, he can. Why don't you try on those sneakers? Maybe think about Scary Booby, that basketball scene. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot in here. Am I, am I What's up, guys? It's Sunday. And we're about to end this vlog. I've been up since six. Yeah, I've been up. My makeup's done because I got ready to go to church. But then Monet says she's not going because she's sick. I feel really bad. Like she's like sick, sick. Like she's still in bed. She hasn't got out of bed. So I need to go. I, I need to go to the grocery store to get her some stuff to make her soup. You know. Let's just do that right now. Yeah, let's, let's go right now. I got Java juice though. Yeah. I'm, I, this is a strawberry whirl. I've been getting strawberries wild this whole time, not knowing there's yogurt in it, you guys. Like, on my dairy-free days, which I need to have more of, I'm like, I'm gonna get gel my juice today. The whole time, the smoothie, I was getting her freaking dairy. And I didn't realize until I read the read it, I was like, yogurt? I didn't know, but strawberries whirl is pretty much the same thing without dairy, so. Yeah. Noah just got picked up by his dad. Um. <clears throat> I don't have to go and pick him up until five. So yeah, we're gonna get some stuff done today. But let's go to the grocery store really quick. Dang, like, I don't wanna do this. Like, do I wanna end the vlog now and then restart next week's vlog? Yeah, that makes more sense, huh? So I'm not in a rush, huh? Yeah, cause then it's like, I wanna post this vlog by 12 and it's 9.30. I'm gonna leave the house to go get money, some stuff to make some soup, and then gotta clean my room, clean Noah's room, 
clean the kitchen. So if you want to see me do all that, tune in next week, okay? Because I'm gonna vlog it. I'm gonna end this vlog right now. So thanks for watching. Next week I'll do better at vlogging. Like I said earlier in this vlog, I kind of suck this week because I'm getting back into the habit. It's really weird recording your every living moment, okay? You try it and you'll know what I'm talking about. So not too much on me, be easy on me. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. And I, I promise you'll see me. Cause I have plans, you know? I'm gonna be traveling with Nana Novi, so stay tuned for that, okay? And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Whenever you're watching this, if you're watching this on Sunday, I hope you have a great Sunday, a beautiful Sunday, and a beautiful week. And I'll see you guys in my next video.